Morning. Um, thanks about yesterday. Akihiko Senpai is injured too, and I was really uneasy about working alone with Mitsuda Senpai. Yeah, Akihiko Senpai was attacked by a shadow on the day that you collapsed too. He said that he injured his ribs a little. Yukari began talking to you in class. <sighs> I thought I was gonna fall asleep in there. Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. I'll save the details for later. See you there. Mitsuru left as soon as she was done. She's probably busy with things like student council. Unlike us. Ugh, stupid Ooh, bitch! Yukatan! Do I sense some hostility? It seems that Junpei was listening too. Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just. I wouldn't mind if she got hit mind. by a car. Let's go. You a Todai strip mall. About earlier. It's not that I don't like her or anything, you know? Oh, I'm talking about Mitsuru Senpai. Why does Junpei always have to talk about stuff that isn't any of his business, huh? Plus, he says it all in the creepiest, most perverted way. He's like the poster boy for sexual harassment. No, that's you his know, voice last actor. Year he... You continue to gossip all the way back to the dorm. Dormitory, fourth floor, command room. Mitsuru and Akihiko are already here. Welcome back. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. Why did he take his suitcase all the way to the fourth floor? <laughs> What's up? He's not living Junpei? on the fourth floor. Why are you here? This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me. I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Hey, don't feel bad. It happens to all us Persona users. But man, <laughs> I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? It'd be nice to have a guy around too, wouldn't it? Huh? Uh, yeah. So anyway, glad to join the team. That's what I'm here for. Junpei joins C's. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Okay, everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had, but that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. Uh, you haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa. Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Relax, I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. Why not? Never explained. Gekukon High School front gate. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight.
This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. L labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Yay, no Once school the dark tomorrow! Hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why did our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the dark hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know. You don't have to remind me. So this is Tartarus. You decide to enter the tower. Whoa. It's just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me. Uh, you're in charge. What? But, but she's a girl. Well, she has fought them before. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like she can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? <laughs> That's the spirit. You decide to go through the entrance. A strange door is sitting in the corner of the lobby. What's the matter? The velvet key in your hand is shining. The key fit into the door's keyhole as if it was being sucked in. been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. It leads here although no one but you can see it. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty, but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Ah, but before I forget, do you recall when I mentioned another resident of this room? Tell me, when you think of this person, what do you see? It's either going to be Elizabeth or Theo. Elizabeth is mandatory for the mail route, so we might as well pick Theo. I see. Then let's bring him out for a proper introduction. My name is Theodore, but please, feel free to call me Theo. It's a pleasure to meet you. My assistant will aid you as well. Until then, farewell. <laughs> Hey, are you all right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Really? A zombie? That's what you picked to dwell on? Oh, I get it. You're trying to yank my chain here. Don't worry, though. I got you covered whenever you need it, man. They don't seem to see the door. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on, let's go. You can check your own status by pressing the command menu button. 
Also, you can save your progress by accessing the clock to the left of the entrance. You can also pay money to heal by accessing the clock. That's why money is important, because you can restore your SP at the clock. I keep equipment that helps me search for information in there. Please don't touch it. Are you ready? Good luck. Inside Tartarus. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right! Got it. Why is she always like that? Let's begin. Keep in mind, these are real battles you'll be engaging in. Now, see if you can eliminate all the shadows wandering around on this floor. Watch out! I detect a shadow in front of you. Move in and hit it before it attacks you. Press the action button to use your weapon. If you can hit an enemy before it hits you, then you'll have the advantage at the start of battle. No, it's if it spots you, not hits you. If it hits you at all, then you have enemy advantage. But it doesn't matter for this one, uh, because it's all determined. Takiba has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? Might as well. The primary offensive options available to you in battle are attack and skill. Attack corresponds to the weapon you've equipped, while skill relates to your persona's abilities. Those skills consume either stamina or spiritual power. They tend to have a greater effect. Use whichever option best suits the situation. Keep attacking until you've defeated the enemy, but pay careful attention to your stamina. That's it for now. Did you get all that? Okay. Then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. Switch to direct commands. That's another reason the PSP version is better. Defeat it. One enemy remains. Now let's see if they fix this one. Nope. Uh, I have an idea why. Just wanted to show you their first line. There should be a staircase nearby. Do you see it? A staircase is the only way to proceed to the next floor. I can't allow you to go any higher today, but please remember about it next time. There's another shadow ahead of you. You'll be at a disadvantage if the enemy gets the first hit in, so try to surprise your opponents and strike first. If you are able to strike the enemy before you are spotted, then you will gain the initiative. On the other hand, if the enemy hits you first, the opposite will occur. But ignore it this time because, okay, it's well, it's glitched. But uh, during this tutorial level, it's always just the same. Now's a good time for me to explain about attack properties, which are important to consider during battle. Do you want to know more? Nearly every type of attack is associated with a particular property. For example, Swords can be used to do slash attacks, while bows are used to do pierce attacks. Skills, on the other hand, have different properties. Bufu, for instance, indicates an ice attack. Now, most enemies are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. In other words, they have weaknesses. A fire skill will deal greater damage to an enemy that's weak against fire. With my power, I can analyze an enemy to determine its weaknesses and strengths. That falls under tactics. Do you follow? The enemies you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Why don't you give it a try? We've been alone. I 
one gun. You struck the enemy's weak point. Nice. Until it's over. It's coalition. You attacked the enemy's weak There seems to be a shadow just around the corner. Approach carefully to avoid being spotted. The map will prove to be quite useful as you explore, so use it often. Were you able to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle? Yes, you were if watching. You didn't already notice. Doing so will also grant you an additional attack. Would you like more details? An enemy will lose its balance if you exploit its weakness or land a critical hit. This will give you the opportunity to perform an additional action. In other words, you'll get to do one more thing. You can keep attacking the same enemy, or if you prefer, attack a different target. And if you succeed in knocking another enemy off balance, then you can act yet again, which means you can remain on the offensive for as long as you can keep this up. This strategy is essential to securing victory. However, remember this. An enemy that's already lost its balance cannot be knocked off balance again. You can't knock down someone who's lying on the ground, right? It's the same idea. Now, to knock an enemy off balance, you need to know its weaknesses. So don't hesitate to ask me for an analysis. I'll be sure to share the results with the others as well. Got it? Then proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. Yeah, you can't knock down an enemy that's already been knocked down, but in this game, if you attack an enemy that is knocked down again, it will become dizzy. Uh, which is not the case in the PS2 version, it'll just get back up. But also in the PS2 version, getting up takes a turn, so it's a little bit different. You attacked the enemy's weird our chance for This gameplay is a lot closer to Persona 4. And five, I guess. Mysterious cards have appeared in your mind. After battle, you will occasionally have the opportunity to select a card from the one shuffled before your eyes. If you pick a card with a persona on it, then you will receive that persona. There are other cards, each of which has a unique effect or reward. Keep an eye on the card you want and try to pick it. Press the action button when you desire card. Collect as many personas as you can, it'll help with social links. It's always like a new persona when you're picking a card, no matter how much you want the money. Like, picking a persona is always the priority. I detect a shadow up ahead. How are you feeling? If you or another party member is in bad shape, then use healing items prior to engaging the enemy. If you don't have anything on hand, then ask Takeba to heal you. Press the command menu button to open the menu screen. From there, you can recover HP with skills and items. You can use your friend's skills from there as well, so feel free to do so while keeping an eye on their SP. Again, this is also better in the PSP version because you can actually choose how much you want to heal instead of having them, like, just saying, I want to get healed, and then they just use all their SP healing you. Like, say I don't want to heal fully. There is a better way to defeat all of your enemies in battle than to attack them individually. You can perform an all-out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? Oh, that thing you just watched me do? Sure. When enemies are thrown off balance, they become vulnerable. An all-out attack will allow your entire team to attack simultaneously. Your enemies will be unable to defend against it. It's a very reliable method of attack. Whether or not you want to perform an all-out attack is up to you. But remember, you cannot perform it when you're alone. So if you want to have it in your arsenal, make sure your team's comprised of at least two members. That's all you need to know about all-out attacks. Do you understand what I've just explained to you? Then, that concludes the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell you. Shadows become stronger the further you advance. If you don't think you can win a battle, retreat at once. There may be times, however, when an escape will be impossible. This battle is one of those times. Good luck. Way to say it in the most ominous way possible. Yes, the enemy is vulnerable. Attack! Enemy is vulnerable. Get Keep em. going. 
You attacked the enemy's weak One point. more! Yes. 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 The enemy Here's is vulnerable. Here's our chance for an all-out attack! Let me at him! Select the cards after they've been shuffled. That's odd. Usually, there are more shadows on the prowl. Well, at least you gained some experience in battle. Let's go back to the dorm for today. There should be an access point somewhere on the floor. You can use it to return to the entrance. Since there aren't any enemies to worry about, why don't you split up and search individually? Just tell the other party members what you'd like them to do. But if they get too far away while split up, you will not be able to use skills or items on them. Be careful of that. Press the submenu button to issue orders to your allies. When your party members get too far away, their portrait at the bottom area of the screen will darken and skills and items cannot be used on them. Also, party members may encounter shadows while split up. While they are in battle, you will not be able to change their equipment. You're in charge. What are you waiting for? Issue the order to split up. Yeah, yeah, I am in charge. And I don't want to do that. Use this command to instruct your party members to spread out and look for stairs, access points, and items. However, if they are not very strong, they can easily fall prey to the enemy. Be sure to keep an eye on their HP. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Sweet! I found something! You want to go the other way? Oh my god, go the other way! Good. You found the access point. Please return to the entrance. Here you go. It seems you've returned to the entrance. Welcome back. So, how was it? I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power. But damn, I'm beat. <laughs> that's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. In any event, by combining your powers with your teams, you were able to stand against the shadows. You feel a bond forming between yourselves. <gasps> you felt the power of your heart intensify as if in reaction to the bond between your friends. Just like Yukari and Junpei, you feel tired as well. You decide that it would be best to return to your room and rest. Oh, that rhymed. That's enough for today. You have plenty of fighting ahead of you. Let's return to the dorm. Yeah, sure. Um, can't fuse anything else right now. It will be the next day when you stop exploring and return to the dorm. <laughs> 